trying to get the phone aligned, but it has officially started. You can see a little bit here. Just trying to align the phone perfectly. It is. And it's cloudy again. Ugh. Fighting the clouds here. clouds at the moment. Can't see anything right now. Both. So, just waiting for the uh, clouds to part. Currently dealing with clouds here in Temple, Texas, so we cannot see anything at the moment. That's a risk that we took coming up here. We knew that the weather wasn't going to be perfect. We had some sun earlier. We did see it start. Still very cloudy here in uh, 
Temple, Texas. We're currently fighting the uh, fighting the clouds. So we'll see if we can see anything. We did see it start earlier, um, but we have some blue skies in between clouds here. So hopefully we'll be able to see something soon. Still fighting the clouds at the moment. Temple, Texas. Fortunately, not much we can see even on the ground looking up, so. see a little bit now it's coming through hopefully I my phone's really bright so it's kind of hard to see but hopefully some of that's coming through We've lost it again, but we saw the sun there for a brief, a brief amount of time, right? So we will keep uh, keep hunting for it.
Still fighting the clouds. Here in Temple, Texas. Fighting the clouds, it's hard to find the sun. Doesn't make it easy. You can see there, oh, the sun's starting to get covered up. You can see the moon starting to move over to the sun. We're getting a lot of light extra. I'm not sure why we're bleeding all this extra light. Something might be reflecting. You can kind of see it in there. It's starting to get covered up. We're gonna try and change something real quick here, so just give me a minute. It's gonna get cloudy here in a second anyway, so. All right, we're trying to uh, super cloudy out again, so we can't really see anything here, unfortunately, in uh, Temple, Texas, but I'll give you guys a little video. Uh, I don't wanna move the phone, actually. It's kind of nicely aligned, but uh, I got two telescopes out here. We're currently looking through the big telescope, uh, the bigger one. If we can't see too much through there, we can try, have a solar telescope here as well. We can try and switch to. But it's super cloudy right now, so we're not gonna be seeing uh, anything, unfortunately, at the moment. But the eclipse did start around 12, 19. Even with my eclipse glasses on, I cannot see anything. So it's unfortunately partly cloudy in Temple today. We've seen, uh, we've seen it a few times. You know, we've seen peaks of it through the clouds. So we'll see, hopefully we can get lucky during the three minutes of totality. So that's the, that's the, that's the, that's the hope. So we'll be back in a minute. That's pretty good right there. You can see the sun is starting to be covered up. We got a break in the clouds right now. So yeah, you can easily see the moon is starting to move on top of the sun. There's a little bit of distortion from the heat and the sunlight going through the lenses and into my camera. 
on my phone, but you can pretty, yeah, you can see pretty well that the sun's starting to get covered up at least right there. So that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good shot right there. I might try moving this to the uh, solar telescope to see if we can get a better view or a clearer view to the phone at all. But you can definitely see something there. So let's enjoy it while we can. We have a little bit of break in the clouds, but we won't have it for too much longer, unfortunately, it looks like. But the clouds are moving through at least. So, you know, every minute or three, we seem to get a nice shot, so. Yeah, we'll try the solar telescope, I think, after these uh, clouds roll through. Yeah, you can see the clouds now are starting to come in. Oh, that's me moving the telescope. Yeah, starting to cover. Maximum eclipse for me here is about 1.39, 1.37 or so p.m. Yeah, clouds are starting to roll through. It's gonna be hard to see anything. But yeah, it's starting to cover up. You can see the effect that the clouds are having on the uh, sun, it's distorting it. Yeah, wish it was a clear sky day, but fortunately it isn't here in Texas, so we'll work with what we have. And just like that, we're back in a thick cloud, so we'll be back. We are going to relocate, try the solar telescope, but here we got us. Professor Chaudhry is here, my wife's here, uh, the little one's running around somewhere. Mom came out. We're going to try the uh, solar telescope here. This is the nighttime telescope. We put a filter on the front cap. You can see it's nice and cloudy here. There's where the sun would be. We're going to try the uh, solar telescope, see if we can't get a better, better shot at all here through this one. One might actually oh yeah you guys can see that pretty well i think yeah So now we're looking through the uh, solar telescope. It seems like it's maybe a bit better review. Again, it's super cloudy out, so it's really hard to see much of anything, unfortunately. All the light is diffusing, but you can kind of see that red dot. That red dot is the sun. Solar telescope seems to be picking it up a little bit better. So we'll see if we can track the sun with this at all any better than we have been. Yeah, it's super cloudy, so we lost. We'll be back though in a second. So, waiting for a break in the clouds still. Let's see if we can see anything, hopefully. We saw it a few times at least, so we know what's happening.
Well, we got some sun. Got a break in the clouds. Trying to uh, adjust it so we can all see here. There you go. You can see the sun starting to get covered up. The light is still diffusing. Right there, you can kind of see it. You can see the sun is being covered up on that side. And we still have circles on that side. My daughter is upset that she doesn't have bubbles, in case you're wondering. But we're starting to see it cover up, and we can see the cloud. Oh, that's pretty good right there. That's a nice shot. I'm not a professional uh, eclipse photographer by any means, but... Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That's real nice. I think the clouds finally broke and we're getting a nice, nice clean view right there. That's really good. Apologies about my daughter. You can see the clouds rolling back in, covering up the sun, covering up the moon. Uh, so we're going to lose it here in a second, but we got a good shot in there. Awesome. All right, we got another break in the clouds a little bit. It's hard to see, but you can see the sun is being covered up by the moon, and they'll go with the clouds again. So you know we're working with what we got, but we're getting uh, we're getting shots occasionally. So we still have clouds right now. We might have a break soon um, in Temple, Texas. Maximum eclipse is in about 40 minutes or so. We've been able to see it a few times through the telescope here. We might have a little bit of light peeling through here. We'll see if we can get anything. No, it's still too cloudy, unfortunately. We will keep, uh, keep trying, though.
We got a nice break in the clouds, so we're gonna try to, uh, oh, there we go. You kind of see it right there. <laughs> there we go, we can see the sun is being occluded. We got a few, maybe a minute or so here of uh, no clouds, so. There we go, that's pretty good. You can see it right there, look at that. Maybe we can focus a bit more. That's pretty good. Yes, yeah, so we can see. I got. I'm trying to do something to make it a little, the contrast a bit better. But there's the sun. It's still a little bright, but you can see the moon is coming in from the left side of the uh, viewer here. For pinhole effect, 40 minutes. So we're getting there. Pinhole effect, 40 minutes. Yeah. You can see we got clouds rolling in now. But you can still see the eclipse. And the clouds are back, so we'll be back when the clouds are gone. That's a pretty good shot right there. That's pretty good. And we lost it. Clouds are back, unfortunately. But we've seen it a few times, so we're going to keep looking. We're hoping for a few minutes uh, during totality. Got a little bit of a break in the sun, wow. or clouds I should say. So there we go, we can see the, uh, the moon is coming through. Clouds are still rolling through, but we got a little bit of a visual there. And it's cloudy, but we can still see it. It's sit there. That looks so cool. I know. Wow. Oh my gosh. I'll make a video of this and put it on YouTube too, but awesome. maybe I'll edit out the bad parts where it's cloudy, yeah, but <laughs> yeah. There's a helicopter flying around. Yeah, real bright right now. Yeah. Almost too bright, but you can see it's starting to cover up. Do you want me to hold her a minute so you can adjust it? My daughter is currently uh, demanding Uppa, so I'm holding her and trying to work the telescope with the other <laughs> hand. Demanding Uppa. So, you know, once in a lifetime celestial event, but somebody needs Uppa, so <laughs> just the way she goes. Starting to see it there. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a nice little break in the clouds here, so we're still able to see uh, the sun being covered up. Oh, there we go. 
it's almost too bright for the phone, I think, even with the filters on. So a little bit of cloud actually kind of helps. But now we got a big old cloud and we've lost it. So we'll be back. We've got a little bit of break in the clouds, and of course it's gone. <laughs> but we're still tracking it. It's getting there. It's almost about maybe halfway or so covered. That's pretty good. Almost too bright. There you go. So we can see slowly yet surely. The sun is getting covered up. We're hoping for totality. We'll be able to see... Uh, maybe some Bailey's beads around the edge or something. So we'll see. We'll see what we can see. Got a nice little break in the clouds though. It's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. We got a uh, iPhone 15 here mounted to a solar telescope. That's what we are using to stream this with. Not the highest tech, but hey, it, it works. And you can see the clouds starting to roll through again. Might lose our image here in a second. Nice and bright. Gonna readjust a little. There we go. You can see that pretty well. Bulldozer 13 says GM. GM Bulldozer 13. I believe that means good morning. I just put on some more uh, sunscreen, sunblock. It's a pretty high UV index here still, even with our eclipse happening. So if you're outside watching this, make sure you uh, make sure you're wearing your sunblock or in your sunscreen. Yeah, clouds are starting to roll through. We can obviously still see a little bit, but we might lose it here in a second, second or two. I don't know who Mr. Bogat is, but they said what's up. So what's up, Mr. Bogat? Watching the eclipse here live in Temple, Texas. We're right by, uh, I don't know, I think this is I-35. Not too far off I-35 here. There's a Taco Bell I can see. <laughs> but there's a pretty good, nice image right there. Yeah. It's getting cloudy again. Clouds are rolling through, so we might lose it. It's getting cool. It, feels, it doesn't feel too bad out. It was much hotter earlier in the day, so... Temperatures, uh, temperatures going down. How was traffic? That was actually something I was really worried about was traffic getting here. I arrived in the area last night and I was paranoid. You know, the roads are going to be backed up and it's going to be terrible like a hurricane. But there's like nobody on the roads. Like there's not a problem at all. I even pulled up like Google Maps this morning and like there was like one zone of bad traffic. But I don't think it's related to the eclipse. So uh, yeah, it's not, not bad traffic at all. Uh, I traveled for it. Yeah, I live outside of Houston, so I'm in Temple, Texas, so I drove about three hours to uh, to get here to this spot. 
the next uh, total solar eclipse in uh, North America won't be till 2045 or so. So you got about a 20 year wait for the next one. So hopefully we're all still here for it, but you know, it's possible it might not be. There are other solar eclipses in other parts of the world though. I believe the next eclipse is gonna be like uh, in uh, Iceland and like Ireland in like two years. And I think in two more years, there'll be one in Australia. So if you wanna see a total solar eclipse, you don't mind traveling, check out, uh, check out Iceland or Australia. Clouds have broken, so we got a nice little view there. I'm gonna go check the other telescope. I will be back in a second, but you guys can see that. So we're back in the clouds, so we're not going to be able to see anything for uh, a little while, unfortunately. There's a nice thick cloud above us, so we'll be back. no sound at the moment because there's nothing to see so I need the microphone every every once in a while still very much covered in clouds at the moment so nothing uh, nothing to report on We might be getting a little break in the clouds here. We'll see, see what we can see.
Dozer wants some uh, moon facts about rocks, maybe. So, uh, you guys know the moon is mostly made of two kinds of rock. We have the light and we have the dark parts of the uh, of the moon. The light is going to be an orthosite, uh, kind of similar to granite a little bit. And the dark part of the moon is going to be uh, basalt, very similar to the kind of rocks you might find like in Hawaii or Iceland. So, there's some rock facts for you. And we got a little break in the clouds. Some light's starting to come through. It looks like it's starting to turn red again. So let's keep hoping here we can see something again. Maybe. It's starting to brighten up here where we are. Yep, there's a little girl just grabbed my leg in case you're hearing cackling. It's not me. My one and a half year old daughter is here with me. She doesn't care about this at all. She's got a, a bunny, a water bottle, and a, some bubbles. Hoping it clears up some more. Let's see what we can see here. Sun's starting to peek through. Let's see if we can get it realigned. Let's see if we can capture it. Oh, there we go. We can see the moon is definitely starting to obscure the sun even more now. It's a little. People with fancy telescopes can get like a thing that automatically tracks it. I got to do this all manually, but you can see pretty well there at least. The uh, sun is getting covered up. We have our totality in about 20 to 30 minutes or so. We'll be fully covered. And we'll have about three minutes of full coverage in uh, Temple, Texas here. Temple's not directly in the middle of the path, um, but it's, it's good enough. So it's an extra hour drive for like 30 more seconds of uh, totality. So we'll see what we can, we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, uh, the college had to pay for that telly, so. I'm just glad they got this one so we can at least see something, you know, hey? It's better than nothing, right? That's a pretty good image right there. Let me make some adjustments to the uh, telescope. The telescope's almost vertical, and so it's hard to work with the tripod because the, the tripod arm is hitting the, uh, the base of the telescope here. So let's see if we can... There we go. A little cloudy. We can tighten this now. getting there it's getting there and the clouds are back so we'll be back in a bit Still pretty cloudy. We might get a little break in the clouds here. Yeah, there we go. Try and center that for you guys. Oh, wow. See, it's starting to really cover up. Yeah, it's like three quarters. It's like three fourths maybe or so. So not too long for totality here for us. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. So. It looks, it looks 
does look spooky. It's getting kind of dark out too. It's kind of eerie, like an eerie ambient kind of kind of color here. There we go. That's a nice view right there. You can see the clouds are still kind of rolling through, but we're, we're getting some nice shots. And the clouds do diffuse the light, so it kind of blurs and deforms our image occasionally. But it seems if we reduce the light, it actually kind of helps a little bit. But we can see, yeah, it's starting to cover up. We're almost there. So right now we're getting close to totality, so we're looking for a shadow edge effect. And so where we are, uh, the shadows are blurrier in one direction than another right now because of how the sun's light is being uh, blocked out. Getting closer and closer. I'm gonna go check the other telescope. The big one you can see sunspots right now too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. So you go ahead. You go ahead. It's okay. okay. I like so your sandals too. <laughs> uh, my daughter, my daughter found these at Ross's. These are Birkenstocks. So we got a little cloud cover. Of the Birkenstock. You still see it. Jim. Okay. Max. Not sure Coming back? Oh there we go. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get out of the way so you can go. Okay, Sorry. Did you see it? Yes. We're looking for sun flares. Sunspots. Look at the sun. Yeah, you can see little black dots in the telescope. Oh, I, I see it. I see it. I see it. Sorry. Sarah, did you see it? Oh, it's so cool. Did you see it? Awesome. We're getting closer and closer to uh, totality. Oh, my daughter is attacking the tripod. See her? No. 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 Hopefully we'll be able to see the uh, like said, corona coming off of and it. Like a corona and then Fingers crossed. It's particularly, the sun is particularly active right now. Yeah, okay. So, be able to see. so we can kind of see we're getting closer and closer to uh, totality here. Is it 137 our time, right? It's totality? Yeah, 137. So we got about 20 minutes or so. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be able to... The sky is fairly clear, which what direction the clouds are moving. There's still a few clouds, but hopefully we'll get a little, a little bit of total totality. I'm, I'm hopeful. This is on my bucket list of things to see, so excited. Yeah, so I'm a college professor, so I'm streaming it back really? to the college. It's on the San internet. Jacinto yeah, San Jacinto College. Where are you? Uh, outside of Houston. Yeah, yeah San we just, East side of Houston. Oh, yeah. San Jack. No, no. San Jack. Yeah, we know yeah. San Jack. You know, we've been in Houston forever. I was.
trying to manually reposition the uh, telescope here. My daughter's upset because she can't push the buttons on it. It's like a little diffusion of light from the cloud. We've got 15 minutes until second contact. So 15 minutes until our basically totality or so here. See what we can see. It's getting there. I have a friend on an airplane today. I'm curious what she'll be able to see. getting there got some pretty clear skies ahead of us right now so i'm hoping uh things stay this way come on come on So obviously the Earth and Sun and Moon are all moving, so I'm going to readjust our telescope here, but we got a good little, good little view of it right there. Yeah, right? It's like eerie out. Right? With the forecast? Oh God, it was so terrible. Well, last night this dark weatherman said he thought it would be clear at the eclipse, and then we'd give me the bad weather as we're driving back in your Okay, you go out and look. Getting more and more covered up here. We got totality in about 15, uh, yeah, 15 minutes or so, or less than that, 10, 12 minutes. We have uh, timers on our phone. There's an app you can download, Solar Eclipse Timer, and you, you'll put in your GPS coordinates, and then it'll tell you exactly when totality starts and when the different phases of the eclipse are. So it's pretty neat. We're tracking it that way here.
we got some clouds rolling through, but it's getting it's getting real close. It's like a thumbnail. Just a sliver we're, of moon we're at now. This point right now. Just a sliver of moon, and of course the clouds are rolling in. We're hoping oh. we get a break in the clouds. <laughs> we're still able to see a little bit here. Ah, uh, go away clouds, go away. My daughter's unhappy. We're able to see a little bit here. Cods are rolling in, unfortunately. Hopefully they'll be gone in the next bit of time, I hope. About 10 minutes. We can, yeah, about 10 minutes or so till it's total for us. And now we got some thick clouds in the way. If we look up, we can still see a little bit. Okay, it's peeking through the clouds. So we still see a little bit here. Ugh, about 10 minutes till total coverage. And then we got three minutes of totality or so here. And then it's gonna be moving off, so. We got about, hopefully we can get a nice shot of uh, total coverage. Just, that's my dream. Let's we'll see what we can get though. We'll see, we'll be back. Got a little bit of break in the clouds, but it's really hard to see anything, unfortunately. Yeah, we, we saw a little bit of it just there. We got thick clouds, unfortunately, right above us. So about 10 minutes or so till totality for us here. So we're hoping that we can get a break or so in these clouds. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Still very cloudy here. About nine minutes to until totality. Hoping we can sneak a peek through the clouds. I've seen partials before, but I've never seen total, so. There's a little bit. No, oh, no. We're chasing it. Let's see what we can do. Oh, blow the clouds away.
We got a little slice of it right there. You can see how it's almost all the way covered, but the clouds, gosh dang clouds. They are obscuring it. We have totality in about seven minutes, but we're able to see a little bit at least. So we got a little, it's peaking. Almost there. It's peeking through just barely. We can focus a little bit maybe. Yeah, it's cloudy, but we're able to see something at least. So we've almost got total coverage here in Temple, Texas. You can see the, the flickering is because the clouds are rolling, rolling over it. We're gonna have totality here in about six minutes. There we go. Got a break in the clouds. Nice and pretty. Oh wow, oh wow. A little break in the clouds. Right, it's like a thumbnail. Yep, like a thumbnail you just cut off. Right there. Cannot find it. So, 137 and in some seconds we got totality here. Now you can see the, yep. See the clouds are coming back. We're gonna keep tracking it as long as we can. As long as we got light. It's been pretty dark out too with the sun being almost covered and we got some clouds in the way. So it's, it feels like sun's about to set here actually. Looks like sun's about to set if you look around. Oh, she took the colander. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's uh, running around. I'm looking at the telescope. Yep. It's clouding up again, but just a sliver. Well, it's hard to see right now because of. Oh. Bring it back. I gotta manually dial this one in. So we're hunting it. There it is. A sliver of sunlight. Just a sliver. Just a sliver. Oh, we got some sun. Breaking the clouds. Very pretty, very nice. It's about. 134, about four minutes or so till it's totally covered roughly. But we got some clouds rolling in, of course, but we're still tracking it. Not the best weather, but not the worst either. So take what we can get. Uh, sorry. And we got some thick clouds obscuring it. So we've lost it for the, oh, maybe. A little bit. We're still tracking it. There's a little bit of a break right there. There it is. Getting closer and closer. Yeah, the wind should change because there's less heat here. And so the, as a result, winds are blowing in. You can, you can see the parking lot lights have kicked on because it thinks that it's dark out. So the sensors on the parking lot lights, I can't really show it on the stream here, but they've kicked on. There's our, we can see here, we've got about three minutes until total eclipse. And it is cloudy, but we got a breaks in the clouds. So we're hoping and we're praying that we can see something we'll have about a three minute window of total eclipse here that will hopefully get a break in the clouds i'll be right back i'm gonna check out the other one real quick
really cool yeah I was like oh my god what am I seeing <laughs> oh I'm gonna focus on this one we're getting close here but we got clouds in the way for the moment See what we can see. We have another telescope, but it's not, it's almost too cloudy to capture in that one. This one was aligned pretty well before some clouds rolled in. So we're getting close here. Oh, it's real dark out. Oh my god. It's real dark. Like a real dark out. Oh my god. I gotta take off my sunglasses. It's dark. Like it's, the sun is real dark. This is wild. This is creepy. It is creepy out. The street lights have cucked on. All the cars have their headlights on because the eclipse is happening. There's a little bit of a sliver of light. Oh, there it is. There it is. Take off your glasses. We got some clouds in the way, but we can see it. Oh, gosh. You can see some of the beads right there. We're hoping for a break in the clouds so we can capture it on the stream. Hey man, we're doing our best here. Trying to adjust. It's super cloudy out still. Sierra's waving at the... Uh... It's fully covered right now. It's wild. You can see the diamond ring effect. Ugh, it's too dark now. The clouds are blocking the uh, telescope, unfortunately. I think what we need to do, actually... So the solar telescope doesn't work because it is super dark out. And so we're gonna try and quickly grab the phone and we're gonna try and reposition it over the other telescope here. So we got some people here with us. I'm getting out of the way. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna try and peek through the uh, telescope and there it is. There is totality. If we look up at the, star, at the sky, we can see it's fully covered. It is nice and dark out right here. You can see my wife's trying to get a picture. I'm terrible at it. She's not the best, but it's all right. We still love her. Okay, you want to do it? I'll hold your phone. Um, yeah. Trying to get a picture through. Yeah. Trying. Yeah, it's really pretty. Uh, the clouds have come up and covered it again. Yeah. Photos. That's gorgeous. Not the easiest to get pictures with an iPhone, but we're doing our best. It's not a plug for Android, though. I know, it's just 
difficult here. My phone. We're still go we're still in totality. We got some clouds in the way. Trying to look through this telescope real quick. Maybe we can see. Oh, there it is, right there. Look at that. It's beautiful. You can see the beads, the Bailey beads. Totally dark out. We got totality for another minute or so. I had to peel, I realized the problem was I had to peel my filter off my telescope because it was too... Yeah, three minutes of it. You can see how it's starting to peek around. Looks like our total eclipse is ending. And now our sun is just about back. So that's pretty cool. Clouds are in the way, but we still were able to see it, you know? So I'm really excited about that. That's really cool. It's lightening up out outside. So we got to put our filter back on our telescope. So there's my daughter, she's running around. Put that one out of the way. We'll go back to our, uh, this is our solar telescope here. Then we have our nighttime telescope. And you can see the sun, yeah. The sun is back to uh, back to where back to normal now, but we maybe probably see some more stuff if we put it back on the uh, solar one here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we were able to see it, which was. You're welcome. Gosh. I told you we had to you must, eat. You must be, you must be living a good life. <laughs> Set our intention. We'll, we'll try and reposition our uh, reposition our telescope here. Come here. What is it? I can't look at it. So. <laughs> see if we can reposition this back on our. That little bit is so bright. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. No, no, no. There we go. So we're back on the solar telescope no, now. No, no. <laughs> Little girl is trying to touch the other telescope and cause problems. <laughs> but, so total eclipse has ended, but we've got a partial still. And so now we're coming back out of the eclipse. And so the moon's going to be covering the other way. So we'll be back in a second. Yeah, so the total eclipse has uh, passed us over, but we have still a partial eclipse, and so now the sun is going to start growing. Um, I will post a video of the uh, total eclipse. I had to quickly switch telescopes because this I'm on the solar telescope right now, but you can't use the solar telescope during the total eclipse because it's too dark. And so I had to go to the other telescope 
I had to quickly peel off the uh, the filter so we were able to see through that telescope. It wasn't it wasn't perfect, but hey, we were able to see it. There were some clouds in the way, but you know, it could have been a lot worse. So I'm I'm quite happy with uh, with the results. It's worth the trip, in my opinion. It's quite surreal. I'm working the phone and the telescope so I couldn't look around too much, but it got real dark and the birds were freaking out and like the the lights in the parking lot were coming out, all the street lights turned on and you know it's middle of the day it just got super dark for a few minutes there it was pretty wild pretty crazy to see to observe i've never been in the path of a total eclipse before so i can mark this on my bucket list something accomplished trying to reposition our telescope there a little bit you can see it starting to grow moon's getting bigger and bigger and bigger now you all for sharing the experience with us and for letting us look through the telescope too that was special and safe travels back to chicago thank, thank you very much thank you very much enjoy glad it worked out huh oh, yeah. i can't believe it and now look at the sky though. yes yeah yeah happened? it broke right before we needed it too <laughs> yeah are you still recording jim Franco? yeah the event's still 2 30 so yep. i gotta keep it going. that's fine would you open the trunk with Yeah, could you get the white piece of paper, Sarah Chaudhry? Yes. Do you want me to do with this? Put it on the shadow of the other telescope. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So. Kind of blurry. Is that where you got this? Uh, yeah, so you can kind of see the how it's blurry in the over this direction. Yep. It's less blurry. Oh, you're so. getting a little bit of that moon. Yeah, you can see the yeah, little, so little shadows. You can see the yeah. crescents in there because the sky is going to so get a picture of that. So. When you can. I will. Man. Just a minute. Oh, wow. I my... feel like my breath is taken away. That was so cool. I'm going to find the freaking sun. <laughs> the freaking sun. Um, it was just eclipse, so it might be a little bit harder. Go to the uh, tree. Oh, there, there. Go to the tree some. shadow. You can see all the. Yeah, the tree will be tree better. Bushes. One of the bushes out there. Maybe.
We're still tracking the uh, eclipse here. We adjust this one a little bit. I'm trying to get the other telescope to show. But that one's centered again. It's amazing how quickly it happened. Yeah. Although, like, totality, I kept thinking, is it, is it going to be done? Like, I was afraid to, like, took my glasses off, and then I was afraid, like, it lasted longer than I thought it would, you know? Which was nice. I was like, I can still keep watching it. centered again. Thank you, Jaya. You're welcome. So oh, yeah, cool. look at this. So, hey, it's yeah, getting yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger. We're going to keep streaming until about 2.30 Central Time presents. here. Oh. I don't see any sunspots on this. They must have cleaned up because they knew they'd have people visiting. We got a nice clear sky right now. Of course, we didn't do it in totality. <laughs> You'll never guess what I'm eating. I'm eating sun chips. Get it? Sun chips? Let's go check out with the other telescope. You can see I'm going to detach from the solar over here. There we go. Kind of hard to line up the phone with the telescope sometimes, but you can kind of see right there. This is the other telescope. This is our nighttime telescope. We're looking through. There we go. That's pretty good. You can see the eclipse right there. It's a bit easier to mount in the solar, so we'll do that again. To our solar scope. Here we go. That's pretty good. I'll be back.
So still in the eclipse for another, I don't know, maybe hour or so. We're gonna keep the stream running for about 30 more minutes or so. So we're coming out of the total eclipse. We did see it. We got some good uh, some good streaming of it. I'm gonna capture some, some screenshots from that and I'll get those sent out and posted. But uh, I didn't use my phone because my phone is running the uh, stream right now. So my wife caught some and then my mom and then one of our friends caught some too. So it's pretty cool though. Of course now there's not a cloud in the sky after the total eclipse. You know, during the total eclipse we were fighting with clouds. So perfect weather now, of course. Can't control the weather, but still really pretty it's still kind of dim out it's not quite as bright as it should be it still feels weird
All right, we're gonna try and track this one again. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. It San Jack's having a good uh, eclipse event. Got fairly clear skies here now. You wanna look through this one? But halfway covered right now kind of hard to see because it's still super bright we're filtering a lot of the light but reducing it
We're still tracking the sun here for about another 20 minutes or so, and we're going to sign off here. Uh, the eclipse is uh, still happening. You know, it's starting to uncover, but the total eclipse was uh, was pretty wild. It was pretty awesome. Would would recommend everybody try and see a total eclipse in their lifetime for sure. It got dark. It got cold. The birds were freaking out. All the lights, like all the car lights were on, the parking lot lights were on. There's a mall across the street. The lights kicked on for that. It was it was like nighttime in the middle of the day. It was truly bizarre. I loved it. Loved it. So we'll keep the stream running. You can see it's a little bright. The phone's having a hard time. We can dim it a little bit, but you can, yep, you can easily see the sun is starting to be revealed now by the moon. We had totality here for about a little over three minutes. So pretty good. There were clouds when we had totality, but they have they dissipated and we were able to get a few good, uh, good, uh, good frames on the stream here. This is currently hooked up to the solar telescope. We couldn't see anything. And I quickly remembered that I had to switch to the nighttime telescope and I had to peel off the, uh, the solar filter. And so we were able to see a little bit on the stream there. Then my wife got some pictures and then my mom and one of my other friends got some pictures too. So got some good images. It's a cool trip. It's definitely worth it. I'll be back. Yep, so we're still following the uh, sun and moon. The moon's starting to peel back. It's maybe about one covering one third of the sun or so, roughly now. Uh, we'll keep the stream going for 15 more minutes and then we will uh, sign off here. But things are brightening up here. It's getting warmer out here in Temple, Texas. So looking forward to going inside and getting a, getting a glass of water or something. <laughs> I'll be back.
So we're still here. The moon is slowly revealing the uh, sun. We're making friends with all the people that are out watching it, that were out watching it. Uh, we're just in the hotel parking lot. I know we're fancy, but all we need is a clear view of the sky. That's what we got. So we're still tracking the sun and the moon here. We can keep it going for until 2.30 or so our time. So yeah, it's pretty amazing. Our, the sky was super cloudy right before the eclipse, and now there's barely a cloud in the sky. You can see a few of them kind of drifting over there, but hey, we got lucky. We saw totality. Can't complain. Still tracking it here. You can see the sun's getting more and more revealed. About 10 more minutes we're gonna be uh, streaming here, so it's getting warm and hot out.
still tracking the eclipse. We got some clouds rolling in. You can see the sun is getting more and more uncovered here. We're gonna keep the stream up for another five minutes or so, and then we're gonna get a sign off. But we saw a total eclipse today. It was awesome. Pretty good view right there, so you can see pretty clearly sun and the moon hanging out together. We're gonna shut the stream down here in just a second, but uh, here we got the uh, last little bit of the uh, little bit of the sun. Moon has almost moved entirely off. Thank you everybody for uh, watching. It was a really cool to experience a total eclipse in person.
All right, so we're going to sign off here. Um, thank you, everybody, for uh, watching. Um, hopefully, right at San Jack had a good time. We had a great time here. Bye-bye.